Hey folks, welcome to Zoom Diggity Mode. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tugboat Mod, the Copper Edition of it. It's going to be sort of kind of a review and sort of a comparison to the original Tugboat Mod. It comes in a package like this, which is very similar to the other Tugboat Mod that I've got. You'll get your mod which hopefully yours won't have any kind of patina on it like this. It should be nice and shiny. I've been using mine quite a bit. That's why it's got that patina going on. I hope y'all can see that very well. This, this room's got some pretty bad lighting in it, and I apologize for that. Anyway, you get your mod, and unlike in my other one, you get this little slip of paper in there. Slip of paper. And let me tell y'all something. They must have finally realized what kind of fan base they had because there's pictures on there. Oh yeah. And this is perfect too. These are the perfect instructions. It says connect magnet ring to the bottom of the battery, copper side facing down. That means this side right here. The other side has like a silver ring in it, which is the magnet. Copper side down. Okay insert button then battery with magnet battery should be floating or with magnet <laughs> I can't read it right but anyway this was a great great addition that they added to the packaging because that right there covered up a lot or you know covered a lot of problems that I heard people having with this particular device there's the box yeah, throw that out of the way. Top cap's exactly the same. This is a copper tube. The original ones were a uh, aluminum type of tubing. Okay. I'll pull the button out. If I can get it out of there. Get the button out, and I'm going to show you some com comparisons of the buttons. Okay. It's all copper, of course. This one has the Flawless logo on it, unlike the original one. Had the Beetlejuice logo on the bottom of it. I'm on, focus. The bottoms are just a little bit different, which... Oh, powerful magnets, by the way, folks. This one has a way that you can kind of keep that tight, or maybe take it out for cleaning. Replace the magnets because this one will come loose. You just have to really get with a like a set of needle noses or something I'm assuming that's possibly for replacing magnets maybe but There you go got the vent hole that goes up through the center of the screw Vent hole on that one. That's the original one. I need to clean the contacts on that one That one could probably use a little bit too, but anywho There's the button so according to the instructions, you'd slide the button down in the mod with that facing up, like so, which this takes a little bit of wiggling to get it to work its way down in there. The other magnet, copper side down, let's see if I can get that to work that button down in there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Mm. This is the only thing. Once you get that button in there, you don't really want to take it out unless you have to clean it because it's a pain in the butt to get it in and out. There it goes. Okay, so like I said in my first video, that, that battery should be wanting to pop out of there. Here's your hybrid type. Them two holes there. I'm thinking maybe that's so you can get a grip with it, you know, a certain tool to get it off of there in case you get it stuck or something, but... I believe most of the venting is down at the bottom, that one hole there. Now another difference I noticed, I guess you could call this like a revision too or something, but the original ones had these little grooves in them, which I guess, <coughs> excuse me, I guess people was complaining because, you know, like little pieces of canthal and, and mess can get up in them holes there. So on this one, there's no, no grooves down there. It says hashtag tug life on it instead of the American flag. You got your tugboat logo right there. This is a copper tubing, so it is going to patina some or a lot. Some of you people out there that are really good at doing those custom patina jobs, I bet you can make this look like a really sharp mod right there. 
looks good that way to me. I'm, I just have a thing for copper. Just not really a big fan of the smell that it leaves on your hands. But anywho, well, there's that. I showed you the differences. The only difference, I mean, the button, this part right here is pretty much the same. The only main differences was the fact that there's no hole, you know, no grooves down here that are open anyway for any kind of dirt or or pieces of cantha or stuff like that to get down in there. Other than that, that's pretty much it right there. Now the weight, there's definitely a weight difference, folks, because this is copper and this is aluminum. Let me pull this back out and show y'all how thick this is. It's a very very nicely thick tube there but just like with the original once you know you get that and the battery there it goes once you get that battery down in there and get everything wound on there you take your Addy and you put it on there this is a hybrid connection just like the original one was there's still that little bit of can you hear that a little bit of wiggling back and forth where that battery is just kind of free floating in there. But I will tell you one thing, the difference between this one and the aluminum one, this one right here hits a lot harder. I wouldn't know exactly what the exact voltage drop would be, but this one right here hits harder than this one does in my humble opinion. Just by taste. Let me have a hit of that. Let me get out. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Anywho, I guess that's about all the close-ups I can really do on this. I bought this. It's pretty much the same price as the other ones, about a hundred bucks. And uh, now they've got like Cerakoted ones that say hashtag Tug Life down the side of them. I, I jumped on this one before I could even see them. I'll tell you one thing about Flawless Boy. They're staying on top of that clone game. They're staying way ahead of them cloners. They're throwing that stuff out so fast. I don't think the clone companies can keep up with them. Well, anywho, here's a look at the Copper Tugboat Mod. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's a good hitting little mod there. It's it's affordable as far as our authentics go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm not going to do a full-fledged review on this because, hell, it's just like the first one I did. Except for a few little revisions and changes for improvements, in my opinion. So, there you go. Like always, folks, this is Redneck Vapor. Y'all keep on vaping, and I'll see you next time.